Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you the Switch desktop app and what that'll do is it'll give you another taskbar that you could have on the right or left hand side of your screen that you could pin your favorite apps to and then uh, run them from there and also kind of toggle between them by using a keyboard shortcut. So once you install it, after you download it, uh, you're going to probably get a message from Windows warning you if you really want to do this or is it really safe because it doesn't know anything about it or it doesn't have any you know, trusted signature or whatever. So of course, use at your own risk, just like anything else you find on the internet. So once you give it permission to install, you'll have a little guy down here in your system tray. And then you could also just press an Alt key on your keyboard to bring up your uh, tray here. And then you could add apps by clicking on one of the plus signs here. And then you'll have to find the executable. Or what I like to do, if you go to this path, in your Microsoft Windows Start Menu Programs, it'll show your installed programs, and you could just pick the shortcut from there. So copy that. Let's see, add an app. Paste that in there. So let's add Google Chrome. And then let's add another one. Let's do 7-Zip. And one more. Do PowerShell. Okay, so now you have your apps there. So when you click on or click on press tab on your keyboard, it'll bring it up. There is an option in here if you right click, go to preferences to turn off the auto hide. But what I've noticed is it didn't seem to do anything it's still hiding itself so maybe you'll have better luck with that but other preferences there uh, maximize app on switch if you want to do that and where you want to place the dock in the left and the right and just click save when you're ready there so anyway so if you go here let's open up chrome let's open up 7-zip and then powershell All right, so now that we have them running, we could use the Alt and the number that goes along with that app. So if we go Alt-1, Alt-2, Alt-3, and then just toggle back and forth. It's kind of like doing Alt-Tab for your regular Windows on your computer, that type of thing. And then, you know, once, once again, it's disappearing when I have it not set not to. So like I said, you might have better luck than I did. So once again, you just press Tab and you could add... Uh, one, two, three, four, five more to here. And then, you know, if you don't want something, you could right click on it, you could remove it, you could launch it, you could launch another instance of Chrome. So let's say you click on it again. Now we have two of them down there. So, you know, it's kind of a cool little thing if you want to add a little more functionality to your Windows uh, 10 desktop. I've tried this on Windows 11 and it doesn't seem to work, maybe because the way the taskbar is designed for Windows 11. It'll install and put your little uh, icon in the system tray, but it won't ever pop up on the right here. So maybe they'll fix that in the future. So I'll put a link in the description. You could try it out and see if you like it. And if you don't like it, just uninstall it. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.